السلام علیکم ون پی ایم دس از ریڈیو پاکستان دا نیوز ریڈ بائی سیدہ رضوی ہیڈ لائنس فرسٹ Accountability Court has granted 10 days physical remand of PMLN President Shahbaz Sharif to NAB in Ashiana Iqbal Housing Scheme scandal case. <music> Prime Minister is in Quetta, where he will preside over a high-level meeting to review development projects and overall security situation in Balochistan. <music> In occupied Kashmir, Chairman Hurriyat Forum has urged Kashmiris to stay away from the sham local bodies election in the territory. <music> US Secretary of State has arrived in Tokyo to hold talks with Japanese Prime Minister ahead of his visit to North Korea for denuclearization talks. <music> Now the news in detail. Accountability Court has granted 10 days physical remand of former Punjab Chief Minister Shahbaz Sharif to National Accountability Bureau in Ashiana Iqbal housing scheme scam case. The court directed to produce him again on 16th of this month. Earlier, NAB officials presented Shahbaz Sharif before Accountability Court Judge Sayyid Najmul Hassan in Lahore today with request to issue his physical remand for 14 days to complete interrogation. During the hearing, NAB prosecutor told the court that Shahbaz Sharif, being former chief minister, misused his power and caused a huge loss to national exchequer. Shahbaz Sharif denied all the charges against him, saying he as chief minister saved billions of rupees in development projects. PMLN leader Sardar Aya Siddiq says requisition to call session of National Assembly has been submitted and a speaker has been asked to summon the session as soon as possible. He was talking to media along with PMLN leader Raja Safrul Haq, Rana Tanvir Hussain and JUIF leader Maulana Abdul Ghafoor Haidri in Islamabad today. Prime Minister Imran Khan has arrived in Quetta on a day-long visit where he will preside over a high-level meeting to review development projects and overall security situation in Balochistan. On arrival, he was welcomed by Balochistan Chief Minister Jam Kamal Khan at Quetta Airport. During his visit, the Prime Minister will also hold meetings with Governor Balochistan, Justice Retired Amanullah Khan, Yasin Sai, Chief Minister Mee Jam Kamal, and members of provincial cabinet he will also meet parliamentarians and representatives of civil society chairman senate mohammad sadiq sanjrani information minister jodri fuad hussain deputy speaker national assembly qasim khan suri minister of state for interior sharyar khan afridi and the pti leader naeem ul haq are accompanying the prime minister Chief of Army Staff General Kamar Javed Bajwa has also reached Quetta. In a tweet, Director General Inter-Service Public Relations Major General Asif Ghafoor said, Prime Minister Imran Khan will be briefed on security situation in Balochistan at the headquarters of Southern Command. In occupied Kashmir, Chairman Hurriyat Forum Mirwais Umar Farooq has said that sham elections conducted by India and the territory are no substitute to the resolution of the Kashmir dispute. Mirwais Umar Farooq in a statement in Srinagar said, so-called elections in the territory are actually a military operation and a futile exercise for the people of Kashmir. He said that the Kashmiri people had always rejected the sham polls. He urged the people to stay away from sham local bodies and panchayat elections and observe a complete shutdown in protest in accordance with the program already given by joint resistance leadership. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo has arrived in Tokyo for talks with Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe ahead of his fourth visit to North Korea for denuclearization talks with its leader Kim Jong-un. Speaking to a reporter en route to Tokyo, Pompeo said his aim in Pyongyang is to make sure that each side is truly trying to achieve what we understand. The second week-long International Physical Agility and Combat Efficiency System competition will begin at Lahore Garrison from Monday. Teams from armies of 19 countries, including Pakistan, will participate in the competition. 
Teams of Kuwait, UAE, China and Maldivian armies have already arrived for the competition, while the remaining teams will arrive till tomorrow. Physical Agility and Combat Efficiency System is a systematic training methodology that enables to develop a human's physical and mental capabilities. The first Pisces competition championship held in Lahore in 2016 had been won by Pakistan. And that is the end of the news. For more details and analysis, log on to our website, radio.gov.pk, and also watch our live video streaming of our bulletins on the link, facebook.com slash radio Pakistan news official.